it just set a bar for for this program and and really for this year's team to uh, to have to do something to try to live up to that and to match it and and uh, and for us the challenge try to be better and and that's all we've tried to do over the course of the spring and the preseason camp is to try to get better as a football team improve uh, I think our guys have worked really hard we've got a tremendous challenge on Friday night with uh, with a very talented Rice team I, they uh, they've got uh, a bunch of guys that are now going to be playing for them as grad transfers that had tremendous careers at, uh, at the schools that they came from, along with a team that is bringing back, reminds me of our 2016 team. They played a bunch of freshmen, guys now that have experience, starting experience, played on a lot of special teams, played offensive and defensive snaps that are now going to be, I guess, veteran upperclassmen well that's that's a great source of pride for us and i think for anybody playing in their home stadium you want to win at home and it uh it hopefully creates a a bit of a mental edge and and an advantage that uh that you believe that you're going to win at home and that you have a a great chance to win at home and it's exciting for the people that come to watch Army's team. We we uh, we have a lot of people come to our games, and they come out hoping to see the team win. And it's nice to be able to do that and celebrate with our fans, and certainly with uh, with the Corps of Cadets. This team hasn't won a single game yet this year. So what what the 2018 team did was the 2018 team's business. It doesn't have anything to do with the 2019 team. We've got guys that have played on that team, but. It's a whole new year, and uh, and we haven't won a game yet. So, the the most important thing for us to do is to try to try to win the opening game, to do our very best to to get the season started off right.